Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sisters Talk TV. My name is Lucy and I am one half of Sisters Talk TV. Before we begin, please be sure to click that right subscribe button on your right and do subscribe and also like, comment, and share. And of course, let us know what your thoughts are and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Sisters Talk TV. That is where we also post all of our updates. And if you have any questions or if you'd like for us to address any issues or concerns, please do email us at axsisterstalktv at gmail.com. All right. Hope everyone is doing good so far and, of course, enjoying your quarantine or if you're quarantined, hope you're enjoying that or if you're doing anything else, hope you're staying safe and you are following all the safety guidelines and regulations all right so we have love and hip-hop edition love and hip-hop reunion edition and we have of course all the cast members from all the love and hip-hop we have um, some cast members from miami we have Love Hip Hop LA, we have New York, and of course we have Atlanta. And we start off this scene with Mama D, Trick Daddy, and Yandy. They're, they're the three that are hosting, of course, this edition of Love and Hip Hop Reunion. And they're barbecuing, Trick is cooking, he has his son with him in this reunion. So, this is the scene where we see everyone. We see Mama D come in. She has, apparently Mama D has a sauce that she has made for the meat or to go on the meat. And this is her special sauce. And then we also have Yandy. And we see all the, we see all the people coming in. We see all the, of course, people coming in. All the cast members coming in. We have Young Jock and his son, he brought his son, and Kendra was not there. I believe Kendra had a lot of work to do, so it was just him and his son. And he just thinks that this is a, also a great bonding moment for him and his son to spend time together. And then we have Ray J coming in. I don't see, of course, I don't see Princess at this moment, although they are having their issues. I don't see her um, at least coming in and within this scene. Uh, we have Paris, April Fizz, Sierra Carly, Trina and, and Joy, Bammy and Scrappy, Sierra, and of course, just all the different cast members coming in. Now, I want to ask, why is Paris here? Why is she here? And why is April and Fizz, out of all the cast members, they choose to bring April and Fizz? Okay, never mind. All right, moving on. So we have a scene where, of course, Sierra and Yandy, they talk. And basically, we all know that Sierra and Cardi are not in a good place as far as what happened after last season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Well, I particularly thought that they were actually in a good state, but apparently not based on what Cardi was basically telling Yandy because she Yandy notices that they weren't talking, her and Sierra weren't talking. So she confines in Yandy and lets her know that after her divorce with Mo, that Sierra wasn't there for her. Um, Sierra was just texting her, just being really nasty to her. And Cardi says that she just can't. She ran to the blogs, basically. Instead of, you know, settling that issue with Sierra, she instead ran to the blogs and just basically dished everything, like all of the issues her and Sierra were having to the blogs. And they're just not in a good place. Her relationship with Sierra is just not in a good place right now. And then Sierra turns around and says, why are you lying, Cardi? See, she's like, why are you lying, Cardi? No, you need to stop lying, Cardi. And then Cardi basically lets her know that, well, this is not a, the time and the place that we need to discuss this right now. Maybe we can have this conversation another time. Because Sierra wanted to have the conversation. And she's like, I'm not having this conversation with you right now. So we have where Mendeecees. Of course, we see Mendeecees, him and Judy. I forgot to mention that they do. They walk in together. And Mendeecees is just like, he's really happy that, you know, he's out out of the pen. He's He's been there for four 
good long years. And uh, for Mon, I believe he said money laundering and uh, drug trafficking. And basically, he says that Trick was mainly his biggest supporter while he was in the pen. Like, Trick was really holding him down. He had his people check, his people, like maybe Trick's friends or something, checking on Mendici. And he really appreciated that. So he likes the fact that he gets to see Trick and really show him his respect, the respect that he has for him. So we also have Judy and, Man Judy and Mandy. Judy and Andy are not in a good place either so there she's basically saying she wasn't expecting to see judy uh she was not happy that mendices invited her because she just thinks that this is just between her a good time for her and mendices to bond just have their alone time together so yandy's not really too happy to see miss judy all right so we also see introduce get introduced to cardi b's daughter jazz and jazz looks just like cardi like of course, she mentions how Cardi wasn't really there. Like, her grandmother raised her, and, you know, Cardi was really doing a lot of modeling. So, she wasn't really able to have that moment with her mother when she was young. So, I guess this time is also a time where they get to bond as well. Now, it just seems like, is it just me, or is this, like, young jock is, like, making some comments, like, comments about... Cardi and her daughter like he's just basically saying how they look alike and he called he you know he called he compliments Cardi he said basically he said that Cardi looks really good for her age and I'm just like Jock where is Kendra you know apparently Kendra is back at back in Atlanta and she's working I'm just like oh lord Jock please behave please please behave all right so yeah, so basically Cardi's daughter, of course, knows what her and Sierra, their current relationship status is. And she's just basically here for, as a moral support for Cardi. And she's just, you know, really here to support, to, to support her and just make sure that, you know, she has a good time. And Trina also mentions here that she's going to host, going to host a lingerie party for all the women. And of course, all the women get to dress in their lingerie or just their pajamas and, you know, come out and strictly for the ladies. And the guys are like, I mean, the fellows was like, oh, okay. Like, what about us? And of course, it's strictly for the ladies. So we also have a scene where, um, Mama D mentions to Jock and Sierra that Little Scrappy and Bammy was getting a divorce. So, of course, she tells them that. And, of course, we know that later on, Sierra will be telling Bambi about what Mama D said. Now, fast forward, we're fast forwarding into the pajama party and i mean all the ladies are dressed you know they're dressed they're at the pajama party and they, i mean it looks really nice like the, like trina and joy really did a good job of course trina's hosting this event and it looks it's just real like, just it's just a, a good time for all the women to bond and just basically how the setup was it's just it was just um and just how the, what the event that was planned i think sierra and joy did really did a good job especially with everything that's been going on with just a lot of the like for instance yandy and bambi i think that it was just a good time for them to really relax and away at least away from their all the issues and that they're that's happening with them and their family now cardi b's daughter basically you know mentions to cardi that you know because cardi didn't want to go set up a job for her daughter was like you know you're going you're going know let's just forget about you know that person basically referring to Sierra and saying well you know you have me so we'll you're you'll be good so it was really nice to have her daughter there because I really feel like Cardi with the relation with her current relationship with Sierra it's just it's just, she just looks down and she just doesn't look look like herself all right so of course we're there and it's in and, and then the producers show you know, how the guys were enjoying their time while the ladies were, you know, enjoying their time. So the guys are outside, they're cold, and it looks just look like they're not, they're not happy about this. 
you know, they're just like, they're bored, you know, they're cold, they're outside, and it's just like, they just don't have nothing else to do. Wow, is this how they really would you know, spend their time? And, oh, I don't know, it was just awkward. So they, of course, they come up with this plan of, you know, crashing the lingerie party, which they will, you know, later on in the scene, they, you know, they come, on, they come also dressed in their pajamas and crash that scene as well. So we have Sierra, uh, Cardi and her daughter come, they're the last, you know, ladies to come in for the pajama party. And basically within this scene as well, um, Sierra lets Mammy know, of course, that Mama D said that her and Scrap was going to, was going to head into divorce. And Mammy's like, what? She said that? And of course, Bambi was not here for it either, because this is also where her and Sierra are basically talking, and Sierra's talking about her relationship with Cardi, and she's basically telling Bambi that you know she's tired of fighting, she's fighting with a fifty-year-old woman, like she's just basically she's just wants to just let this settle. And so, of course, Bambi's still in her moment, based on what Sierra told her about what what mama d was saying she's just in that moment like i'm not no we're not gonna have this all right so we have a scene where paris paris is just so messy is it just me or just paris is just so messy why is paris still stuck on little scrappy and april like little scrappy and april have nothing going on over there they really do not and that's why i'm saying why do they come to this like what is their purpose in this reunion like honestly it's just like Paris is just so worried about both of them. I don't know why, but she's just worried. I, they don't have, they have nothing going on. Little Fizz tells April, you know, you want to go out, go outside or go upstairs. You know, let, let's just have some alone time. Who cares what they're talking about? There's nothing going on with them. Moving along, Paris is just right, just messy, messy, messy. And so we have a scene where, of course. <clears throat> Yandy and Bammy also pulls Sierra and Cardi aside. Basically, Yandy is not feeling it. She's like, you know, you guys have to talk because you guys are sincere. They're both sincere. They're genuine. And she's not feeling it either. She's like, okay, we got to talk. So Bammy and basically Yandy are the mediator to this. And Cardi and Sierra, you know, Sierra lets Cardi know that you know, she's not feeling it. Like she, you know, she's not feeling how the relationship is going. She just apologizes to her. And she can feel, she can feel how Cardi feels. And she just, I know that she feels that Cardi feels betrayed. But again, when she sees Cardi going back to the blogs and just talking about her, it just brings her back to, you know, are we really friends? So... Cardi basically tells Sierra, like, you were not there for me. You've you've never been there for me. You're, you're basically saying she's not a good friend. Like, the way she is with her, she's not that with her. Like, she just feels like she's basically the one who's putting all the work in. And, you know, she's not getting... She, the, the affection is not re being reciprocated. As a friend, you should be, do, you know, helping me when it comes to my birthday. You know, show up for my birthday. Or just do these little things just to let me know that you care. So yada, 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 you know, they make up and, you know, they hug it out and that is all still. Now I do have to say, I do kind of understand where Cardi B is coming from because sometimes we as friends, sometimes we don't know how to be empathetic, like how to actually just the small things we do for friends, even when we feel like they're not, they feel like we're not, we're not genuine or being genuine or being concerned. It's just be doing the little things like, you know, calling them, texting them, just doing those small things, just let them know how that you care. So I can honestly feel, understand how Cardi's feeling. Cause this is not just the first time Cardi has said that about Sierra. It's just been multiple times. So I feel like maybe, you know, at this age or at this stage that we are in, maybe it's not, I mean, because there's a huge difference between 
Sierra and Cardi, you know, Sierra and Carly's. Carly's a little older than Sierra. And it's just like, I'm not understanding where, where there's a connection with their relationship. You know, so I don't really know. I just feel like maybe at some point Carly needs to just drop it and just move on. Everyone should just go their separate ways. All right, so they make up, of course, and that's that seals that deal. So we move on to Mendeecees and Judy and Yandy. Basically, Mendeecees brings the ladies aside. He's basically letting them, you know, letting them know that, you know, because again, Yandy doesn't like that Judy is here. She just feels like, again, this is her and this is a long time. And Judy feels the opposite. She also feels that this is her time for her and her son to spend together. And that she hasn't, since he's got out of prison, she hasn't really spent that time with him. And I'm just like, Judy, like, this is your son. You know, this is, and then that's his wife. Like, his wife should be spending time with him. He's been gone for two. He's been gone for long. You had all Mendeecee's childhood until upbringing, or unless if you weren't involved in his upbringing, his childhood, then I can understand, but not at this moment. So Judy feels the same way, and Mendeecee's is like he's like like the the mediator. He's like you know, this is what we're here for. We're here to work these work these things out, and. You know, we need to overcome this. And I and I honestly feel how Mendes is feeling. Because again, Mendes has just got out of prison. You know, everything is he's he just feels like the transitioning. It's just, it's just been hard because everywhere he goes, it's like with his the background that he has and all these crim you know, cr the criminal activities that he was involved in, it's just been really hard for him to actually do anything. So even with his I can understand how that could also affect his relationships because he probably just doesn't feel like he is He's still Mendeecees. He's probably still like, again, tr trying to transition. And he has his relationship with his wife and then his mom. And then, of course, his baby mamas and his kids. He's probably just like, man, all I need is just some, some peace right now. But, again, we have Judy and Yandy. And that's what we have to deal with. So let's see. That's what this reunion is for, right? Family reunion. All right. So moving along, there's a scene with the BAM, Mama D, and Little Scrappy. And it goes back to, you know, Mama D basically telling Jock and Sierra that they were getting a divorce. So Bammy calls Mama D to a side. And look, of course, Little Scrappy is nowhere to be found. Um, and she basically lets Mama D know that she heard her, that it was something that said that her and Scrappy was getting a divorce. And Mama D lets her know that, yeah, she sent, it all started off when she sent Scrap one of his ex-girlfriend's number. And, you know, she feels like Bambi shouldn't be so insecure about, I guess, about that particular situation. And I'm just like, Mama D, like, you do not do that. These are two people that are, that are, I believe they're married. And why would you be sending Scrappy his ex-girlfriend's number? And it's different if you sent it in the presence of Bambi there. And then you're also insinuating that she's insecure. This is your daughter-in-law who just had two kids back to back. And not even that, she's also trying to transition from balancing that and also balancing life and also having also dealing with scrappy in which she mentions that scrappy's also a little bit childish so it's like she also has to take care of the kids and also take care of scrappy and then it's you so it's just like i don't know it's it's at this point, i'm just not feeling it for mama d i'm just like mama d this is wrong you should have never done that you should have never done that so i definitely will take agree with bambi at the moment and whatever happens with Bambi and Scrap and all those Scrappy did tell you that and which was childish in Scrappy's part just like Bambi's saying which is just childish on his part to tell you that and then that's when Scrappy comes comes and was like oh I know they're not having a conversation with me so Scrappy walks over and Bambi lets him know what Mama D said and Scrappy is like acting all mad and like you know just he just walks away <laughs> and I'm just like yeah, but you're the one that said it. 
So maybe you shouldn't have, you shouldn't be telling Mama D everything that goes on with you and Bambi, especially when it comes to word divorce or are you both separating. So yeah, that that was just it for me. I mean, scrap walks off, and that was basically the end of this particular episode. So more episodes to come, but that just highlights everything, all the major scenes that happens i am looking forward to this this particular edition of love and hip-hop so i'll definitely be get, giving you guys the reviews back to back and keeping you guys updated all right so i'm gonna go ha- go ahead off and sign off i do um wish you guys many blessings um stay safe and continue to follow those safety regulations and until next time peace love and blessings